Well, another Tuesday morning in the darkroom, developing some film, doing some stand developing, got a couple of minutes left, and I want to talk to you real quick, guys, about x-ray film. I talk about this stuff like it's the best thing since sliced bread, and well, although it's kind of tricky, uh, this x-ray film stuff is pretty cool. It's a blue-green sensitive orthochromatic emulsion that gives, you know, some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice negatives for about the price of a 35 millimeter frame. So here's my workflow for developing it and processing it and storing it. So let's start with the film itself. This is a CXS brand, which is manufactured by AGFA, a green sensitive x-ray film. I think it's about $32 for 100 sheets, so about 30 cents a shot. And the Kodak, a little more premium, is a green latitude. It's got a little more speed, I find, about a ASA 320 or 400 film. And 100 sheets, I believe, is in the $40 range, so not that much more. I'm developing it in a pyro staining developer invented by uh, Jay DeFair called Obsidian Aqua. It's basically a uh, super concentrated catechol um, diluted in a solution of 6.66% uh, potassium carbonate. I get my potassium carbonate and my fixer from Photographer's Formulary, and I get the catechol for the Obsidian Aqua from Artcraft Chemicals. Uh, my fixer, since I'm using a pyrostain developer, is TF5, which is an alkaline archival rapid fixer. It's also really good at removing all that super pink stain that you get from uh, Kodak films. This giant bottle here I think was $25, $26. And this uh, this couple this one gallon makes oh a couple gallon I think three yeah three gallons four gallons of working solutions so I use a, a little over a gallon at a time because I'm developing in hangers and tanks and moving to the hangers and tanks okay we have uh, these old Kodak hard rubber tanks I believe this is a four gallon tank I use this for my uh, my wash my pre wash I pre wash my film for five minutes. I do batches of six at a time because my developer and my fix are in these great Kodak uh, stainless steel tanks. Uh, one's dedicated to developer, one fixer, so you don't cross-contaminate that much. And uh, so I'm I'm letting it sit in here pre-wash for five minutes. There's not there's no anti-halation layer. It's just really nice to get the um, the emulsion nice and swelled up and ready to uh, slowly uh, get that developer in the emulsion. So I pre-wash for five minutes. And then, uh, by Jay's recommendation, I do uh, what's called geometric inversion. So I would develop starting at 32 minutes, and then after the first minute, I'd agitate, and then two more minutes later, I'd agitate, and then four more minutes later, I'd agitate, then eight minutes, and then 16 minutes, and we're done. It's a semi-stand form of developing, and since I'm using these wonderful uh, stainless steel hangers, you just uh, open these guys up right there under your ridges, you slide in your film right there and you set them in the tank and to agitate these things are great. You can pick up the whole stack, I've, I've only got one free hand but you let drain from the side, stick it back in a couple minutes later when it's time to agitate you just drain the other side. You just gotta kinda keep track so you're not draining at the same time and getting streaks or anything but it's a really nice even method of semi-stand developing your film and when I'm done, I just wash it back in the big tank after the five, six minutes in the TF5. And then I photo flow it and hang it up to dry. You can actually even dry it on the hanger. Um, I don't because I find the corners don't get that dry. But what you can do is just you pull them out. And then to dry the hangers, you can put them right where you hang your film. After everything's said and dried, uh, I put them into these nice archival plastines, which are really great. Uh, very cheap, sell them in packs of 100, and I find the thicker um, polypropylene sleeves, they they scratch the film because this is very soft emulsion. That's why I'm going to all this trouble to use gallons of uh, fixer and developer at a time so I don't scratch the emulsion. It's very sensitive. It's two-sided, so there's actually emulsion on both sides of this film, which is kind of neat. It adds to some density if you're doing a alternative process. I do carbon prints with these, so it really comes in handy. Uh, one more cool thing. Since I mentioned earlier, these are green, blue sensitive orthochromatic films. I can develop these by inspection, so I can actually watch these develop. Well, how do you do that? Well, you have to have a safe light that accommodates the situation. I use these little guys, uh, Bright Lab Junior Safe Light. I think they're a whopping like 7 watts or 11 watts or something. They're very small wattage. Yeah, it doesn't say on here, but very, very small wattage lights. And I set them in one of these um, 
handy dandy uh, reflectors that you can get. Well, they're shop lights. The shop light with the clamp. So I just clamp it all the way up at the top of my enlarger here. I bounce it into the ceiling up there and I develop all the way over here. So when it's about five, six minutes in, you can actually look at the negative and say, oh, some density is coming in. Good. And if it's getting too dense too fast, you can move it from your developer to your, uh, your pre wash bath, which kind of uh, stops the development right there and then you put it back in so you just kind of get a feel for how it's coming along if it's coming in too fast you put it in the water if it's uh, not coming in fast enough you at the end of the time if it needs some more you just leave it back in for a little more semi stand so it's a really nice way to develop your film uh, for beginners you can even load your film holders in the dark I know this is a really big deal for folks because sometimes it's kind of tricky to load the film in right there under the under the film rails of the holder so this you can actually just kinda watch it go right in and make sure that it's nice and tight in the film holder and all under the, the very subtle red glow so if you guys have any other questions about developing x-ray film go ahead shoot me an email matt m-a-t dot mirash m-a-r-r-a-s-h at gmail dot com uh, post a comment uh, under this YouTube video or check out the website www.mattmirage.com. Thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, go ahead and try some x-ray film. It's really fun.